Hello, my name's Ian Trott. I'm part of the Baxi training team. I'm here at our Warwick Training Centre to introduce this week's Training Tuesday tip, which is all about deaeration, why it's important and when to do it. Okay, so deaeration. Uh, it's really, really important for a boiler to be deaerated before it fires. When you first fill a system, it's full of oxygenated water and we want to get rid of that air and that's where deaeration comes in. So to do it, all I have to do is turn the dials until they're at minimum, wait for the display to go back to its normal settings and then I'll take the central heating dial, a quarter turn them back and a quarter turn them back again, no faster than that, and what I get is 312. That tells me I've entered into the deaeration mode. So, what's gonna happen now is all that's happening, I've got my diverter valve, and that's gonna be moving up and down, pushing the water from hot water to central heating, making sure we clear all of that air. The pump, that'll be coming on, and it might be pulsing, going on and off, on and off. It's gonna be pushing all the water around. The boiler won't fire. What is really important is that the auto air vent at the back here, that that is open, and that allows any air to escape. And why are we doing this? We're doing it because to protect the main heat exchanger. It's got lots of coils around that heat exchanger, and what it doesn't like is air being superheated. So we clear the air before we fire the boiler. The deaeration will run for about seven minutes. Once all the air is cleared, you can fire it. Now, it will do it on first fire up. You have to fire this through deaeration before you can fire the boiler. But if you're gonna drain the boiler down and take a substantial amount of water out, do the deaeration again. You can do it as many times as you like. If you're introducing fresh water with oxygen in it, deaerate it to protect the heat exchanger. We hope you found that useful, and if you did, why not hit the subscribe button? Come back next week for more Training Tuesday tips.